アンソニーとしても知られているザ・スーパービッグダウンマイケルとしても知られているザ・ミラクル Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Restaurant Radio. I'm Michael. And I'm Anthony. This episode, we're talking about the FGC East vs. West, Japanese mainly, and some Asian countries that do play fighting games, and the West, which is, you know, all America. countries America, Britain, maybe Australia, if they play these fighting games. I think there's like one player from Australia that plays, but I'm not sure how good he is. I'm not sure. Yeah, mostly America. Because we're like the epicenter of, you know, the, the West for our FGC. Yeehaw. So we're basically talking about the differences between the two groups of FGC players and how their ideologies are different and whatnot. This all came from um, PR Balrog's interview he did recently. Yeah. I'm not going to play the entire thing, but some key quotes that he said was that, uh, and I quote, To be honest, I don't think Americans have a chance at Evo. And he goes on to say that we care too much about complaining about the characters and studying the game.、Hmm. Yeah. So it was, crushing. It was like uncharacteristically deep of Bar- PR Barrog because, you know, he's usually like the upbeat guy, but man, that was. He kept it 100. That was some dark stuff, man. I mean, could you blame him when he said that? I couldn't because he's right. Every time I look at a thread on Street Fighter V, it's complaints about how there's no story mode, how there's no arcade mode, how this character needs to be nerfed, how this character needs to be buffed, as opposed to putting characters to the test and, you know, seeing how what, what move applies to what move. And, you know, all this tech that the Japanese have discovered or are discovering. A lot of tutorials that we have seen come from Japanese players. Like, Just, to, just what, yesterday? You showed me that video from Daigo about、oh, how、yeah. to deal with Ken. Yes, the, the,、um, the um, walk under him, do not anti air Ken video was probably one of the most incredible videos I've ever watched because it was the most simple tech, but that stuff works like 100% of the time it's working. Like, I tried it out on a Ken player and it worked. Meanwhile, over in the West, we're complaining about how much damage he does, about. How his jump in is being so good, right? His pit boxes, and we are talking about how to deal with it. Yeah, we have we are having the wrong conversation over here about playing the game while they're like, okay, here's how it is. How do we deal with it? How do we overcome the kin? Exactly. We're over here like, Capcom, please nerf, please patch, thank you. Kate, thanks, bye. And that doesn't really help, you know, players become better at the game. All that does is show you that you need a character to be tailored towards what you think is fair. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I've had my fair share of being salty in fight games, especially stuff made by Capcom, specifically UMVC3, but then I did realize this game is not made to be balanced in the first place. Like, that's not a balanced fighter. That game is made to be the way it is. And I didn't see that at the time, but now, if I was probably a little bit less salty, I'd probably be like, okay, how can I deal with Weskers? The answer would probably be、uh, Dr. Doom, but that's another subject. I think the conversation should shift from making the game adapt to the player as a, and shift to the player adapting to the game. And those are the ideologies that I think have, you know, come up. That's the focus of Japan and the rest of the Asian East players. Yeah. How do I adapt to the game? As opposed to asking for the game to adapt to me. So, I think, what was that CEO? I don't think there were any、um, US players in the top eight. I think if there was, it was like one. Really? Yeah, it was pretty bad. I actually did see the standings. Yeah, it was pretty awful. I can go look for it real quick, the CEO. But, but yeah, the ideologies、yeah. are really important because that's why they're winning all these tournaments and stuff because they're trying to figure out how can they win. And we're over here figuring out how can we cry enough for them to change things for us. And that's not to say that there aren't people over. On the West, who are trying to specialize and try to maximize their you know, potential in the game. I also think that they have a different ideology on how to do that. Like, it was said from、uh, Tokido that if you want to get better at the game, don't play online、mm. because it produces bad habits. I agree fully with that. Yeah, online will make you do stupid stuff. Yeah. Like, a lot of people online just don't. God, they, they do the dumbest things. 
like just randomly pressing buttons and hopefully you walk into it jumping way too much yeah just all types of really bad things and then you'll start to do it because as quiet as it's kept a bad player will make you play bad yes because you're trying to play to their style in order to beat them whereas you should just be like trying to like i guess keep your fundamentals in order but you're so wrapped up in how stupid they're playing you're not you're losing focus on how to win plus there's that condition that we all call tilt yeah where we're like getting angry and salty like how did that work and then it knocks you off your square yeah and now you're playing to their game as opposed to playing your game like that stupid ex sure you can that got through my critical art i'll never forget that yep that's the kind of thing that'll put you on tilt because now you're like angry that that stuff happened and you gotta recompose yourself but in the middle of that match it's like oh it's difficult it it's is hard. so the top eight is ceo this year was number one was tokyo because you won ryu Infiltration was uh, number two. Uh, Momichi, uh, then Hanatane, then Daigo, then Knuckle Dude, and Mago, and then Nupi. With Chun Li. Yikes. Yeah. Knuckle Dude, I think, was the only person from the U.S. that was in the um, top. Forget yeah. my ignorance, but Momichi isn't from America. I don't. Because I know he's part. Did he make any of the differences? Yeah, he isn't really but I don't think that he's from America, though. Hmm. So I think they have some players that aren't. I didn't know they branched out that far. I mean, his forgive. Forgive me. <laughs> but yeah, just. That's pretty bad. That is. Yikes. It was bad with Street Fighter 4. It wasn't. I mean, it got worse later, though, with Street Fighter 4. But yeah. then it got better because we started to, like, you know, do stuff. Then Smug came into the picture. <laughs> that dummy. Yeah. Yeah, Moichi's um, Japanese. His whole thing is in Japanese. Okay, got it. Yeah, he's from Tokyo. All right. So, yeah. If CEO is anything to like, indi- it's like any indicator of what's going to happen as Evo, we are going to see a very, you know, Asian, you know, top eight again. We are, because I've seen a lot of tournaments at the Capcom Cup, and Infiltration and Tokido are like the top players. They, they are, are back to beat. back. They are the ones to beat. I mean, there are some other people from America. We see Ricky Ortiz, we see Justin Wong, but when you look at the people who hit the top, it's usually Infiltration. Or infiltration top. has been winning just about every Street Fighter Five tournament. Yes, because he gets it. He gets the game. He plays so much of it. He has learned to understand the game, and he understands his character to a level where... <laughs> People are looking at what he does. And why does he do that? And you see how well it works. Because he plays each. He plays every matchup different. He doesn't play a one style for every matchup he plays. He switches up very quick if he needs to. Mm-hmm. Which is the adaptation, which I do like. And that's the one thing I can say about um, what's her name, uh, Ricky Ortiz. Because when she was going against um, what's her name, uh, Guilty, she adapted to that crap really quick. Yep. Because I think she got. Guilty got one round, and Ricky was like, no more. No more of this. The princess of the SEC has spoken, and she was not here for any of the shenanigans that Dawson was given. And that's the thing. Adaptation is a very important skill that is needed. You can't just, you know, flowchart through these tournaments. No. Because that's why you end up losing. No, you cannot. You cannot flowchart through these tournaments. You cannot. You have to sit and practice the game. Practice not just- the game? practice the player sometimes man yeah and not just by yourself either you need to play with other people y'all need to sit there and study it what do you do when you play this character like I mean, what's the point of having like meetups if you're not going to study because i think that's the thing i think i don't think there's like an actual like study like okay what this character has what's his well, what's, what's a good matchup they're just fighting each other just to like play they may give here the tips because i've been through i've been to some of their meetups and there wasn't a whole lot of like you know i would say information and education it wasn't all of education there that was just like i'll give you a quick tip you know don't do that or don't do this it wasn't like okay guys let's sit around let's figure this out for especially for characters they know like like nash that should just be a class on how to beat nash or infiltrations nash it used to be because i'm pretty sure over japan they're over there like okay we need to beat these players how can we beat him because daigo had that little like that one video i saw i'm pretty sure he does that often where him and his friends come and they just sit there and study a character. I saw him do a Mika one too. See stuff like that. That's important. Yep. He takes his he takes his character and figure out how to apply it to every character in the game, and that's how you get successful. And I think that's the idea we need to have to shift this whole like you know 
oh, to Japan are gonna win every tournament thing. Cause that's like, that's kind of like, dis like that's this disheartening to be honest. To have that ideology to where the Japanese gonna always win every tournament. Yeah. As if they're just like this chosen people to like win everything. No, they just have a different way of practicing, training, and you know conditioning yourself to play this game. We can do that too. I agree. We have the tech. We have the time. We have everything they have too. Like there's, there's not the, their language is helping them. No, it's just they play the game differently. So yeah, PR Balrog, you might be on to something. Unfortunately, I really hope that's not the case. I want to see America do well. I want some top eight. I want some American people in top eight. Yeah, more than just one person. We can do this. We got this. Come on. Don't let Abuki come in here and like stir up some stuff. All right, I think that's the end of this um, episode. You have anything final to say? <laughs> All right, well, what do you guys Bastard think? Bastard Fighter 5. <laughs> Aside from Bastard Fighter 5, which you should do, um, what do you guys think about you know the FGC and how you know Japanese players versus Western players play? Do you think their ideologies are you know one's off and one's not really working? Do you think that we need to change how we play the game, how we view the game, how we ingest the game? And um, and it's not just about Street Fighter Five. Apply this to all the games. All that you fighting play. games. Get good. Get good. That's the thing. Get good together. Yeah. All, right. all right, guys, check us out on our Facebook page for more stuff. Go to our website. You know all that. Just please like, comment, and subscribe to this particular video. And yeah, we'll see you next time.